Hello, everyone. Woof, woof. I still can't believe it. It's so wonderful. I've turned into a human, and I can talk now. It's a dream come true. Isn't it just wonderful? Itoha was a bit surprised at first, but she quickly understood. She's my best friend, after all, and she's so wonderful. While we were both marveling at this new dream coming true, a voice interrupted us. The monster we had saved was actually just a little goat named Meme. Mene explained to us that he came from a wonderful place where all animals live in harmony, Nico's Smile Garden. Everything was wonderful there until the day the darkness came and started polluting the garden. But now, with the magical powers I've received, I can save that wonderful place, just like I saved Meme. I don't quite understand how I'll do it yet, but I'm sure that with Iroha by my side, I can accomplish anything. But then, Meme disagreed completely, saying that Iroha couldn't accompany me on this adventure. No, no, no. If Iroha can't come, then neither will I. And that's that. All these stories had worn us out, and it was time to head back home. Iroha didn't know how to tell her parents that I had become human and could talk. After all, it all had to remain a secret. But I was far too tired to think about it, and without really knowing why, my transformation faded away. I turned back into a doll. Fortunately, I no longer needed to hide. And what's more, I could still talk. It was wonderful. I promised Iroha to keep all this a secret from her parents, even though, between us, I don't quite understand why. As long as I can talk with Iroha, that's fine by me. Woof woof! After a good night's sleep, I was full of energy, and Iroha took me to the park. While she chatted with her friend Satoru, I played with Daifuku, the rabbit. He's very fast, but so am I, so it was a real wild race between us. Suddenly, I felt something. A dark presence. Another monster had appeared. I tried to tell Iroha, but she wanted to keep it all a secret so Satoru wouldn't worry. Iroha doesn't like hiding things or keeping secrets, so it wasn't easy for her. We quickly set off to find the monster. It was a giant ostrich. Wow, I didn't know how to handle it but I was sure I could save it with my magical powers. I transformed into a human again and tried to catch the ostrich. But it was so fast and strong. I tried everything, but I couldn't catch it. Iroha watched from a distance, safe, but I could see in her eyes that she was worried about me. She might have been remembering the day she took me in a few years ago when she promised to always protect me. She was afraid to see me in danger facing that ostrich monster. Suddenly, something wonderful happened. Just like it happened to me, Iroha was surrounded by a bright light and received magical powers. It was incredible. It was wonderful. She came to my rescue without hesitation. Iroha loves all animals and wants to protect them. Her kindness is her greatest strength. And I know that as long as we're together, nothing can stop us. Together, we managed to catch the ostrich and free it from the darkness controlling it. We sent the ostrich back to Nico's smile garden. And Iroha and I were closer than ever. Of course, Meme came back to complain with a whole list of rules and warnings. He does like to complain, doesn't he? Now we have to go see this famous Nico's Smile Garden. Maybe then we'll understand better what's going on. For now, it all seems very complicated to me. But what really matters is that I'm with Iroha and we're having wonderful moments together. So many wonderful adventures still await us. It's exciting. <laughs>